Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HZ. This is video 33, and today we're talking about the modulation effects. So let's go to a new preset here, and for the saw wave, let's select reset so we can kind of hear a little bit better what's going on. And down here in the effects grid, it's gonna say mod FX1, that's grayed out or inactive. Let's double click that and enable this. So we have a chorus here, and if we click this mode here, we have chorus, forest, or porous, and then a phaser here. So, so this chorus basically uses delay lines, the forest or, cor or porous, wherever you want to pronounce this one here, uses all pass filters, and then we have the phaser down over here. So for this chorus here, the first knob we need to talk about is this feed B or feedback. Now this is the control for kind of flanging type of sounds here, so take a listen. And then we have center down up here. So depending on the mode you're in, chorus or forest, porous, whatever you want to say here, is basically going to be the delay time or the all pass cutoff. Then we have depth over here, which is the center modulation. So this knob down here, and it's the amount of the built-in LFO controlled by the speed knob, which we're going to get to in just a little bit here. So take a listen how different this sounds. So you see all the way at the top here, you're, we're getting quite a wide depth of this chorus effect here. And bring it down, it's pretty uh, subtle. And then we have stereo here, which is basically the LFO phase offset between the two stereo channels. And this one's interesting to hear, so we have this depth kind of high up here. Let's bring a little bit more center in and bring this all the way up. And kind of listen for the almost the pulsing, like the wing, 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 wing. That's kind of what we're going to be listening for. Then we change it here. And in the center, it's a little bit more even. The left, right, or I said that backwards, right, left, right, left. But you can kind of hear the pulsing kind of going on between the stereo field there. Like those two waves kind of hit pretty quick there. And then we have the mix knob, right? So depending on how much of the core signal we want to have or the dry signal, we can adjust that. And then we have our speed knob here. So take a listen to the changes here. Now all the way to the left here, the speed knob is going to be 0.1 hertz, and all the way to the right is 1. So 1 hertz. Or 1 hertz. And then over here we have quad, which is basically the volume of an additional chorus with its own LFO. And this is going to be the modulation LFO. So this Q phase down over here, the modulation LFO phase offset used with a stereo knob for the quad effect. So you can go pretty pretty nuts here with, uh, with this chorus here. And then over here, we have the EQ, which is kind of nice here. So we have the toggle on and off here. So something to note about this EQ is this is happening between the dry signal and the wet signal. So if you kind of want to preserve something, maybe some low end here, this is kind of what you want to do. See, toggling between this on and off, you kind of get more of a solid low end here if this is on and you kind of dial it to taste. And we even see that solid low end down here, how it's much brighter here. And the same is true for the high frequency and the high boost as well. Something to keep in mind though, so let's go back to an init preset here, reset this. So we're kind of default again, enable this here. By default, this equalizer is going to be on, but you do get a little different tonality when it's on or when it's off, right? So take a listen. So really wherever you put these different knobs here, you're still gonna get a little bit of different sound with this EQ on or off. So something just to kind of be aware about, or be, uh, be aware of.
And then there's also the forest or pores. And then the phaser is pretty cool as well. So you have a lot of fun to play around with as well. And then last thing that we should look at before we go is this is kind of something I kind of generally do. So with this mod effects, once we turn it on, it's cool, it has a cool sound to it, but there's a couple of things I always kind of reach for. I always give it a little bit of feedback here, kind of put the center maybe around here, maybe 65-ish or so, and then increase the depth. Then maybe give it a different envelope here. So that's just one oscillator on re reset, so we can take this off if we'd like to. And then maybe preserve a little bit of our low end here by boosting it a little bit and kind of finding the spot that we like. Maybe something around there. And then we can always try to add a different uh, oscillator or two oscillators to waveforms. <laughs> Give a little bit of detuning. But yeah, that's just a basic patch, right? So just an oscillator with a dual waveform, a little bit of a release here, some attack, and then this course with a couple of these settings on here can actually make it sound pretty good and it's pretty minimalistic. Because with this chorus effect, I feel like the default values are okay, they're kind of cool, but you kind of want to spend a little time and kind of adjust things, namely the feedback, a little bit of the center and the depth. And you can also go to the stereo too if you'd like. Kind of makes it a little bit bigger, or even sneak in the quad, that's kind of fun to do as well. So yeah, that was basically the modulation effects, a lot of fun to play with. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.